Hey everybody out there, welcome to my big prop shoot out for the 350QX. Tested a few props here and hopefully it'll help you guys out. Okay fellas, these are the APC 8x4.5 MR. MR stands for multi-rotor. When you buy these you need to make sure you have a you get a, a pusher prop and a standard prop, uh, which just means that there's one that spins one direction, one that spins the other direction. Now with all my APC props, they are really fantastic out of the box as far as balancing goes. I, I think this was the only one I had to put any type of uh, tape on. One thing you'll notice about these, uh, they have a beefy hub. You'll never get a failure at the hub because these are extremely strong, very durable. Unfortunately, flight times were down, uh, down by five minutes, 50 seconds to 9.35, uh, at the first warning and second warning. And um, the motors were um, ran hotter because of the shape. It's more of a pear shape. You can see it's kind of fatter towards the hub and definitely more pointy towards the end. So not my favorite prop. In fact, my least favorite prop because it just felt like you had to give it so much gas to get it to go. And also punch out was pretty poor as well. Now, if you like hot motors and poor punch out, then these are the ones for you guys. These are the GemFam 8x4.5. Um, props um, they come two in a package one is um, one is uh, right hand and one is left hand um, flight time 547 not bad 944 not bad but what I don't like about these is they are very thin they're very flimsy and you do have to remount this hole and if you can take a look at this when you remount that hole there's not a lot of material around the ends and actually when I was testing these I had a little tip over and cracked one of these um, props in half that was my fault obviously but when you're going to remount such a small hub like that it's going to be less um, strong definitely so let me see anything else on these punch out not bad um, thin plastic so you know in that instance you know if the prop is breaking you know maybe your arm won't break on your um, 350QX but uh, good propeller but I just wouldn't I have try. to say guys that all of the props in this uh, shootout the APCs came out of the bag balance the best um, just very minimal balancing so these are the APC 8x3.8 uh, slow flyer prop nice prop I don't like the pitch so much on it although you know, we are getting some decent run times here at 10 minutes, 55 seconds to the second warning, 6 minutes, 19 to the first. Uh, what I didn't like about these is that they have to spin faster to um, keep the same amount of, um, of lift um, going on. So instead of it being uh, at a hover at mid throttle, I was at about two notches, maybe one notch above half uh, throttle. So, excuse me, it was one notch above half throttle. So. Um, motor temperature not bad, um, pretty average for the group. Um, balance was great, obviously. Um, it's a good prop, I would say, if you're going to be doing aerial photography. So it's a smooth prop. Um, it spins a little faster, but it's very well balanced. Okay, guys, these are my previous favorite uh, blade for the 350QX. These are the Wakira, and they don't have a pitch on them. I believe they're probably around 8 by 4.5, uh, would be my best guess. Um, we have Flight times of 5.45 to 9.23, not a bad uh, flying time on that, although it's a little under. Um, you do have to remount the holes on the very top of these, and the bottom is an open hole. So if you want to run a little spacer in there just to get better balance on these, it's okay. It's a good prop, um, but um, at, knowing what I know about the other props that I've tried now, I wouldn't recommend it, actually. Um, so APCs uh, definitely went out over this Wakira prop. Hey guys, these are the stock um, DJI. I believe these are 8 by 4.5 as well. They're almost an, an identical clone to the Wakiras, except they have a slight, uh, the hubs are a little bit beefier and the tops are open rather than closed. Another good prop, I did like these. They're, the one um, standout point I can make about these props is they are extremely durable. Had many, many, many crashes with these and they are still surviving. You can actually see some of the battle wounds on, on some of this. There's dirt still embedded in, in the uh, props and they just keep going. Um, great um, knock around prop if you're going to be doing a lot of proximity flying. Um, flight time is, a, oops, let me scoot this over, 530 to 914, almost identical to the uh, Wakira props. So very, very similar in pitch and size to the Wakiras. Guys, this is the last 8 inch prop that I'm reviewing here. It is the APC 8 by 4.7 and obviously you can see on the other tag you need to buy a right hand and left hand or what they call a pusher prop. Um, so on the right hand you can see there it says 8x4.7 SPF 
SFP, which is a slow fry flyer prop. And you can look at the flight times there. We're getting up in the flight times because of the 4.7 pitch and the amount of motor speed and torque that the um, 350QX has. It can handle a higher pitch uh, prop. And these are the getting close to the um, stock performance of the uh, B blades or the A blades that come stock on it, which I don't recommend anymore, of course. But six minutes, eight seconds, great time to the first um, cutoff warning and 10 minutes, 18 seconds to the second. For an eight inch prop, um, if, if I were to just choose an eight inch prop, this would be the one for my 350QX. It does great with aerial photography. Um, once again, superiorly balanced out of the package. I really like them. They have a tight fit onto the shaft of the, uh, the APC um, prop adapters. The APC, oh man, the uh, small parts uh, adapters. So, great prop for if you're gonna go with eight inch. Okay, fellas, now we're getting into the big boy um, props here. These are the uh, Gem Fam nine inch by 4.7. Fantastic prop, I really like these a lot. Um, for a couple of reasons, the pitch is great. Um, you get long run times. If you look at the run times over there, we're getting up into the 11 minute and 41 second uh, run time. Just fantastic, you're adding almost a full minute, minute and a half to um, to some of these other props here. Um, they are very inexpensive. It's $3 for a pair, which is right hand and left hand turn. Um, this is, if you guys have seen my video, uh, I had this prop on my D DJI for F450. This is the prop that got damaged when I flew into a biplane. <laughs> you can just search that on my channel. Pretty easy to find. Um, but it's a great, great um, prop. Um, has fantastic punch out. Um, better than the stock blades, the B blades. Much, much better. Um, the only reason that I choose the APC versions of these uh, more the, so than I um, than I uh, like these is that these the balance on them is not as great. You're gonna have to work a little bit for your performance as far as the balance goes, and sometimes it's not always an exact science. So these props. While they're great and they're, they're inexpensive, you do have to work a little bit as far as the uh, balancing goes. Now I'm just going to move the camera down here to my winner of the shootout here. These are the APC. And I'll get move these guys into the shot here. These are the four, 9 by 4.7 slow flyer prop. And you can see this definitely got the winning uh, marks as far as time goes. Um, 11 minutes, 55 seconds uh, for the second uh, warning cutoff. And... Um, I, the only negative that I have on these is they're only one color. Um, they are very, um, you know, the color I like to have, you know, orientation, so I suppose you could paint them if you want. If you're doing FPV, the color doesn't really matter that much because you're not looking at the, at the craft. But it could help out, so. Um, with all the, um, the uh, APC props, um, once again, very well balanced and um, Durable, I should say. Um, a lot of times when I get a, just a, a tip strike on the um, any of the Gem Fam props, they would just get a little fracture in through here. I've hit things with these APCs, and I've been really surprised at how well they actually hold up. I'm not sure what they're using for for material. Uh, obviously, it says composite, but. Um, and one other added note about the APCs: they're American-made. They're not shipped from overseas. That's why you pay about two or three bucks for each propeller. Um, hey, if you want to help out, if, you're, if that's important to you, then go for it. Anyway, that is the end of my prop shootout here. Let me take a little pan shot here if I can. Thanks for shoot, tuning in, you guys. Let me see if I can zoom out. You can see some of my, my dirty work area here. This is my uh, F450 right there, my radio, all my notes. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Give me a comment. If you have any questions about any other props, I'd be happy to review them for you. This is 7 Demo 7. Oh, have a great day. Bye-bye.